Today is the day that you've all been waiting for. Today is the day we make our own hair oil. And that is why my hair looks all crazy, so don't mind it. This is gonna be a longer video, so stay around to see all the ingredients and how I apply it at the end. This hair oil is gonna have the intentions of not only bringing in new growth, but strengthening the hair follicles and also soothing the scalp. I'm gonna be using herbs that some of you guys may not have access to and that is okay. So pause the video right now, screenshot this, and these are the main herbs that anybody could use. Everything else I use is going to be extra. Now for this video, you're gonna need a couple things at home. First up is an oil. Now you can use many different oils from olive oil to coconut oil. You have grapeseed oil, but I'm going to use an avocado oil. Now, whichever one you use, you want it to be of good quality and you want it to be organic. Spend a little money on it. You're gonna need a stainless steel or glass bowl. You're also gonna need a pan that can fit it. I want you to fill up this bottom pan with water. You're gonna fill up enough water to where this is floating inside. What we're gonna be doing is called the double boiler technique. Some people may call it different. What we're gonna do is get this water to boil which is gonna heat up the oil inside here. Now, what that does is it protects the oil from being direct in contact with fire because when oil gets too hot, it is going to start releasing free radicals and basically just destroying the quality of the oil. The measurements used in this video is not going to be exact. However much oil that you want to have reserved is how much you're gonna put inside the bowl. For me, I'm gonna gift it to a couple people, so I'm gonna be making a good amount. Now that you got your oil in there, you can go ahead and turn on your heat. I got my herbs right here. It's a combination of about six or seven. Now, depending on the main focus of your oil is going to be what herbs you put the most of. For example, the rosemary is gonna be used for hair growth and thickness but the hibiscus is gonna use to soothe the scalp. So if you have inflammation on the scalp, throw a bunch of this in there. Here's some dandelion root to bring circulation to the scalp. Here's some hibiscus to soothe the scalp, some nettle leaf to bring some nutrients to the scalp and also an anti-inflammatory. Now you're gonna leave this boiling for about 30 minutes to an hour. When the water goes down, simply just refill it. Now we strain. 